Oh, you rolling raptors. Are you ready for some thrills in an empty indoor skate park? Stay with me. This is just a warm up. I'm not here all by myself. This is Surya. He will guide and coach me. You should check his YouTube channel Keep On Blading as well. Today we're gonna ride something big. Not this half pipe, but this monster. A third ramp. Sir just already pumped himself up into the deck, but my pumping skills need some practice. And less clumsiness too. This is what I wanna do. Drop in and hop onto the deck. Seems easy enough. I'll just try to copy what Syria does. But boy, this thing's high. I think this vert's about three and a half meters tall. I admit I felt some adrenaline rushing through my veins. I wasn't scared, but I was confident I'd fall. Yes. <laughs> that went better than expected. I was sure that drop-in would throw me flat on my back, but it's no big deal at all. Getting nicely onto the deck, that's the hard part. It's just a matter of pumping enough, but my brain seemed to disagree. I had to get used to the dynamics of the vert. I was getting better with each drop, but I lacked consistency. Elegance as well. But still, rolling up and down the vert is big fun. This thing's cooler than a roller coaster. Check out Surya defying gravity. I had to focus on the coping to get onto the deck. I didn't need those, too hot. Sirius also made a video about our adventures on the third. Here's the link. See? I was getting better, wasn't I? I won't claim I'm moving nicely, but I'd say it's a decent beginning. Ooh, that moment of weightlessness. That's my goal. Yeah, a rollout or something.
Landing onto the deck was my main focus and I succeeded most of the time. Sometimes I desperately grabbed for the coping, but I never got into trouble. If you've got a vert in your area, just try it. It's like riding a normal halfpipe, only faster and higher. More time to enjoy the gravitational flow. I'd like to thank Surya for encouraging me and thank you for watching. Keep on blading.